my name is Lloyd Killett. I live in Miraloma, California. Uh, you know, I'm the 90% against gun, you know. I, I'm with the president on, on the gun laws, and uh, I was disappointed, you know. So I wrote this poem, and this goes out to all Republicans and some of the Democrats. Row, row, row your boat. Republicans and friends. Merrily, 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 merrily. You brought shame to Washington. You brought shame to Washington. Shame on you. Shame on the way you are. We are 90% and shame that you came out against the gun laws. You think the NRA will last? This is just the beginning. And, you know, I know as a citizen, we will come back so powerful, so powerful. We will change the politics in Washington. And you people will never have the courage to do this again. You bunch of cowards. You know, you've been. You think money can buy politics? Never. Never. So, I praise the president for being a man and stood up to you people, you know? Sure, you, you think you can control Washington because, because it's Barack Obama, you know? You can't stand a little color, or well, you bigots. And I mean bigots, you know, that cause all these problems for the president. You know, he's just trying to do his job for for us. And you look at it like he's the enemy. And Fox News Station, you know, you're like, row, row, row your boat for Republican and friends, right? But in the end, <laughs> you know, you blame, you blame, you blame. That's Fox Station. You're always blaming anybody else but Republicans, you know. Accept your failures. That's why you, you're another station that use your bigotry. You will go down in the end. You know, O'Reilly and friends, you will go down because people get sick and tired of you people trying to control the media. You know, and it goes on all the all the other stations. But you're the worst. You're the worst of your kind, and uh, you know, and we, the public, can see that. And then you people at Fox, when you lose the presidency, and you say, "What happened? What happened?" and you get mad. You know, you get mad. And you try to take it out on the rest of the Americans, you know. Nothing the president does that you agree on, nothing. You don't help the guy, you know. Otherwise, we would be a, a nice, safer country without you guys still trying to blame him, you know, on the Libya. Till today, I just lost the news again. It's the blame game. You blame, you blame, you blame. That's all you got to go, go by. That's your credibility, you know. I, I mean, n nothing but negative comes out of the Fox. Just negative. You know, if, you know I, f I feel sorry for the 
for the commentators. That I guess they get fired if if they don't come out and say their personal. There's only one guy I like, you know, and he comes on at twelve o'clock. I love that man, you know, because he's a straight shooter. You know, he he doesn't knock anybody. Everybody else does, you know. And then the Democratic commentators come out and they get bombarded, you know, with negativity by 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 the people that hire him, Fox. You know, they could never say the right thing. And I give him credit because these guys stand up to you. You know, you know, and uh, you know, so. In, in the long run, like the newspaper out in England, you know, this is going to happen over here to Fox. You know, they, they're going to mess up someplace and they're going to get taken down because of their politics. You know, that guy that runs it over there, he's such a big fat hero, right? He's a nothing, you know. He, he thought he was, the president called him the most powerful man. Nah, man, he's not, you know. He does bidding for, for the owner. You know who the owner is. You know. I mean, if you went to CBS and they told him I, I would W your pay, and, and man, he'd be right, right there. And and all of a sudden, his politics changed. All of a sudden, right? It's all money. You know, it's a bunch of cowards. Shame on you in Washington today. And and. Uh, you know, I hope nothing happened to you, your families. You know, with guns. I really, I, I love, I love your families. But I feel sorry for politicians that give in to us, the ninety percent. You will get yours in the end. Mark my word, it's coming.